A giant tsunami is heading this way! <laughs> what should we do? Well, let's set up some anti-tsunami security. Huh, got it! Okay, I'll set up my security first. I definitely want to protect my house from the tsunami. What kind of security are you going to make? Hmm, I'll use this first. TNT! Whoa, TNT! Ha! I'm gonna build a TNT launcher right now! A TNT launcher? I'll use the TNT's explosions to push the tsunami back! Oh! -ho. TNT is so overwhelmingly powerful that it should be able to push back the tsunami! Whoa! This is going to turn out to be incredible! Alright, I'll put a button here and hook it all up with redstone circuit. Okay! And now, I'll fill these dispensers with lots of TNT! Nice! Alright! So this is the security you thought up. It's gonna be amazing! A tsunami should be a piece of cake with this! No problem! Alright! Next, I'll change out the dirt below. Okay? Now to add the water. And then I'll use a repeater. And it's finished! Ho ho ho! Alright! Mikey's TNT launcher. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. I can easily handle a tsunami with this. You really thought this through. Mm hmm. But this TNT launcher can only launch one shot at a time, right? Won't you need more firepower to force back a tsunami? What are you talking about, JJ? It'll be fine! Tsunamis are just water, right? If it comes down to it, TNT is obviously stronger! Hmm, I guess that's true. But you should never underestimate a tsunami. Don't sweat it. I think I'm all done preparing. But just to be safe, I'll reinforce my house's security too! I need to do something about those cobwebs. Um, Mikey, are you using cobwebs instead of windows? Uh-huh. But water can get through the gaps in the cobwebs. I know that! So, uh... Oh, I'll replace them with glass! Nice. If I use glass instead, I won't have to worry about water getting into my house. Uh-huh. Hmm... Oh. But, Mikey... Uh-huh? Can glass panes stand up against a tsunami? It'll be fine! Of course it can withstand it! Glass panes are way stronger than cobwebs. Hmm, when you put it like that, I guess that's true. Hmm. That should do it. All right, it's done. Ha! It's perfect! Oh, you're done, Mikey? Uh-huh. My anti-tsunami security is complete! I gave my house glass windows, and I have the TNT launcher over there! I can definitely survive with this! Mikey, the tsunami is coming! It's way bigger than I thought! Oh! You're not kidding! It's huge! <sighs> but we'll be fine! I'll push back the tsunami with this TNT launcher! No! Alright! Uh. Place the TNT! Okay, here it goes! It's coming! It's getting closer! Whoa! Go, go, go! Uh... Oh? <laughs> Did it work? I think it failed! It's no good! What should I do? Try again! Alright, one more! Take this! Go! It launched! Huh? 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 Uh... No way! That's not right! One more time! One more time! One more time! It's getting closer! Okay, take this! Come on! Take that! Yes! Oh no, it couldn't reach it! <sighs> what do we do? Uh... This is bad! I knew it wouldn't have enough firepower! Alright, take this! Come on! It doesn't have enough firepower, Mikey! <laughs> Maybe we should give up on this and hide inside the house! Let's do that! It's coming! Run away! Run away! Our only choice is to get inside my reinforced house! Get in, JJ! Close it! Alright! <sighs> Are we okay in here, Mikey? Can this house withstand a tsunami? It's getting closer. It'll be just fine, JJ. There are no more gaps in my house 
for the water to get in through, remember? Look! Yeah, but I'm still worried, Mikey. Wow, it keeps getting closer. It's fine. It's about to engulf the house. It's fine! Is it fine? Ah! Wait! It engulfed the house! Huh? Is your house really gonna be okay? Settle down, JJ! Water won't get into my house! It's fine! Huh? huh? Ah! Ah! No way! Ah! The water's getting in! What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? The tsunami's water pressure is breaking the glass panes in the windows! Oh! My house is flooded! Ah, it's flooding! Uh, what am I gonna do? Yikes! Oh! Yeah, this is bad! More water keeps pouring in! Yeah. Ah, the tsunami broke the door! Ah, are you kidding me? It looks like the tsunami is receding. Oh, we survived it somehow, but my house is completely wrecked! And my TNT launcher was totally useless! <coughs> well, at least we survived. It's my turn next. Good luck! What are you making first? I think I'll start by building a TNT launcher. Whoa, nice! Hmm, but you saw what happened earlier. TNT launchers can't push back a tsunami. Didn't you see mine fail, JJ? That's okay, Mikey. I have an idea. I'll build this special TNT launcher. A special TNT launcher? How? Now I think I want to build my special TNT launcher over here. First, I'll put a stone here. And here, I'll put a sticky piston with a slime block. Next, I'll place a repeater. I'll place a dispenser here and fill it up with TNT. Next, I'll hook this up here. And I'll hook up another repeater on this side. And I'll place another sticky piston with a slime block. This device is actually finished as it is now. But I'll build another one in the same way over here. My special TNT launcher is complete! Whoa! It's awesome! Hmm. <laughs> hmm? It looks like an ordinary TNT launcher. What's so special about it? Well, Mikey, this is a rapid-fire TNT launcher. Oh? That means the firepower rate is extremely high, making it able to push back the tsunami. Interesting! So that's it! Awesome! Well, my rapid-fire TNT launcher is complete, but just in case I fail to push back the tsunami, I'm also going to reinforce my house's security. Oh! Good idea! First, I'll replace the material my house is made with, with magma blocks. Oh? Magma? I'll use these magma blocks... Huh? ...to reinforce my house like so. Oh! I see! Magma is stronger than water! Mm-hmm! Mm. Very nice! I'll keep changing it. Maybe you should change your windows, too? I'm not sure these can withstand the tsunami's water pressure. Oh, that's true. These glass panes probably won't hold up, so... I guess I'll use reinforced glass. What's that? Just like this. Whoa! Like so. Those look strong! Huh. I'm using thick, reinforced glass. Now, back to this, as I replace all of my walls with magma blocks. Just like that. All right! I've replaced all of my house's walls with magma blocks. It's quite sturdy now. Incredible! And now, I'm concerned about the door. Hmm, I guess I'll change it. I'll start by patching this up. I'm worried that doors will break from the water pressure of a tsunami. So instead, I'll make a sturdy hatch on the roof, capable of holding up in a tsunami. I'll make the entrance around here. I'll place sticky pistons here. And now, I'll lay out the redstone dust here. I'll place a redstone torch, too. That'll do it. I'll make another of those. Next, I'll put this like that. And then the redstone torch. Hmm. Moving on, next up, I'll make a redstone circuit and place a button. With that, 
My sturdy hatch is complete. Now when you push this button, the hatch opens up and we can enter the room. Wow! I'm coming in too! Whoa! Whoa! With that finished, next I'll prepare some emergency food. I'm gonna make a device inside the house to grow crops whenever we want them. I'll start by making this part dirt. Then, I'll place dispensers here, and I'll place bone meal inside of them. Mm. Now I'll put a lever here and till the soil. I'll plant beetroot. It's finished! It's a device to grow vegetables. Let's try it out. If you flip the lever like this, oh. beetroot grows. Whoa! Incredible! Hmm. Then we can harvest them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now let's eat this beetroot. All right. Whoa. It's yummy. This device lets us grow crops in the house whenever we want. It seems like we can just live in here. Mm -hmm. The last thing to do is to connect the TNT launcher and the house via rails so we can quickly move between them. Good idea. Now I want to end it here, so I'll extend the rails out like this. Now I'll extend these rails all the way to the TNT launcher. All done! Awesome! Alright, now we can go from the TNT launcher to my house using minecarts. Nice! My anti-tsunami security is now complete! I'm starting to feel like we'll definitely survive! Alright, preparations are complete! Incredible speed! <gasps> Can the TNT launcher really force it back? Mm-hmm. I'm activating the TNT launcher now, Mikey. Huh. All right. Hurry! Three, two, one. Click! Go, go, go! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, they're not reaching. <laughs> this should work when the tsunami gets closer. Please reach. Ah, it's getting closer. The TNT launcher is almost in range. Go, go, go! All right. Huh? Hmm? What? Shoot. Huh? What? The TNT launcher is out of ammo. Oh, what? Uh, hang on. The tsunami's moving again. It's coming at us at high speed. Oh. This is bad. Escape to the house, Mikey. Oh. All right. Let's hurry. Hurry. Uh, it's coming, Mikey. Come on. Hurry. Here I go. Mikey? Three, two, one! Whoa! Go, go, go! All right, I made it too. Whoa, the tsunami's closing in on us. Ah! Hurry, Mikey! I am! It's coming seriously fast, Mikey. It's so fast! We're almost at the house. Hurry! This is bad, Mikey. Okay, we're here. I'm scared! You're all danger! All right! Ah, it's getting closer! Wait up, DJ! I'm coming! Whoa, incredible! Okay, it's unsealed. Into the house! All right, I'm in. I made it inside. Mikey! <sighs> oh. We managed to reach the shelter, Mikey. Phew! The tsunami's going to engulf the house! <laughs> I really thought the TNT cannon would push it back! It's about to engulf us! It's so powerful! Ugh, the house! <laughs> oh no! Oh! Ugh, the tsunami's so powerful it engulfed the entire house! Uh, what do we do, JJ? Are we gonna be okay? We're gonna be just fine, Mikey! It's scary! This house should be able to hold up! Oh, I'm scared! So far, so good. Just hang in there. I'm scared. Huh? Oh, hey! What? The water is receding. Oh? Whoa, the tsunami is past. That's amazing. What? He says a black hole will form today, so take shelter. Is this some kind of prank? Mikey, we're in trouble. A black hole is about to appear. Seriously? Don't black holes suck up everything around them? 
That's right. We'll get sucked up too if we don't prepare. <gasps> we need to hurry up and build a black hole shelter. Let's hurry. Uh, where should we start? Come on, Mikey. Uh, I don't know. Wait, I just remembered. Huh? I have something that might help. Ta-da! Oh! I've been saving this for an emergency. Now seems the right time. What's in there? Huh? Uh, let me show you. Check this out. Wow! What do you think, Mikey? Is this bedrock? Yep. Woo! Bedrock is pretty much the toughest material we can get. Mm -hmm. If we use bedrock, our shelter will be indestructible. Then what are we waiting for? You're right. There's no time to waste. Let's start building. Yeah! Hmm. Here we go. First, we'll need a place to build. This spot here should be good. I agree. I like this location. It's at the edge of the village, not too close or far away. Hurry, JJ. We don't have much time. Right, sorry. Let's get to work. <laughs> hmm. What's up? This way? Sure. Whoa. <laughs> Watch out for gravel while you're digging, Mikey. Roger that. Gotta dig fast. Hurry up. I'm hurrying. Good. The black hole could form at any time. That's so scary. That should be big enough. Now let's line it with bedrock. Like this. Yeah! If bedrock can't stand up to a black hole, then nothing can. That's right! I just hope it actually works. Uh, don't worry, Mikey. Bedrock is completely indestructible. Mm-hmm. But it might be a little boring if we only use bedrock. Maybe we could add a window? Yeah, that looks nice. We're making good progress. I think we'll be ready for the black hole. Nice! Our shelter is almost done. One more block? Ugh. All right, that's it. We're officially safe. Woo! I guess it needs an entrance, too. We have to get out somehow. Can't forget about that. This hole should do the trick. And then... I'll add some water at the bottom. That'll prevent any fall damage. Looking good. Mm -hmm. Let's add a ladder. So we can get out. Finally, the door goes right here. That should do it. That door looks really tough. It should be. Nice. Perfect. What next? I can finish up the entrance. Okay. It doesn't need to be big. It just has to cover up the hole and be easy to use. Something like this. Looking good. That'll do the trick. Now the entrance will be nice and safe. Plus, it will be extra visible. Done. Sweet. It's official. Our shelter is finished. Mm -hmm. When the black hole forms, we can dive down into the entrance. Yeah. And once we're inside, we just close the door behind us. Perfect. Seems pretty good to me. Yes. But before we can say we're prepared for the black hole... Huh? Well, when it shows up... What? All of our stuff in the village will get sucked in. Oh, yeah! Which means we need to move all our valuables into the shelter. You're right! Let's hurry! We're back at the house. Let's decide what to bring with us. Maybe the enchantment table and the furnace? Definitely! Really, we should take all of the furniture. Sure, why not? That includes the beds, of course. Those are important. And we can't forget the TV. Obviously. The shelter might get boring. Oh, let's take the armor stands with us, too. Sure, just don't forget the armor. I know that. Just making sure. What else? Hmm. Oh, Mikey, we forgot to check the vault. You're right. Let's go. This way. We'll use the secret entrance to get down. Here I go. Right behind you. Whoa. Here we are. Let's open it up. Nice. We've saved up quite a fortune in this chest. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Woo. We're rich. Yeah. Let's grab it. We'd be pretty sad if the black hole sucked up all our savings. So we're bringing it with us. Let's go. Nice and safe in our shelter. Is there anything else here we should bring? I don't know why, but I want to bring this torch. Why not? Next up, let's take some food. Oh, oh yeah! I almost forgot food! There! That should be enough! 
We might be in the shelter for a while, so we'll probably get hungry. Should we bring some water too? Might as well, right, Mikey? I don't see why not. There's still food in the village we could take. All right, let's grab it. Food is really important. If we don't take it, the black hole will. I'd hate to run out of food in our shelter. Let's take as much as we can. Definitely. We don't know how long the black hole will last. Well, that's everything. Let's get to the shelter. Come on, Mikey. Go! We have to hurry. <sighs> Phew, we're safe. Now that we're inside, let's place everything we brought with us. Mm -hmm. Like torches. I'm glad we brought all this stuff with us. Yeah. We're ready. Yep, we're well prepared for the black hole. The double chest will fit there, and this armor stand can go next to it. That's a good spot. Now let's put away all the valuables. I'll start with the armor, and everything else goes in here. That makes sense. Gold, emeralds, and diamonds. Everything we worked so hard to collect. Let's store the furniture, too. Nice and safe. Yeah. That includes the TV. I don't think it'll fit anywhere else. It feels good to have all our important things safe in the shelter. Definitely. Ugh. Now our beds are safe, too. There. Ta-da! What next? I don't know. What else did you bring? All I have is food. Then let's store the food and water. There. Okay. All the food can go in this chest. I'll throw in everything that I picked up. Great! I'll put all of my food in there, too. Awesome! That's a lot of food. Yeah, I think that's everything put away. Are we done? In this chest, we have all of our furniture and valuables. Right? We also have our armor. Uh-huh! Plus, we have all the food and water we could need for a really long time. I think we're ready! We have all the important stuff. Finally, let's get all the villagers into the shelter. Yeah! All right, it's time to get everyone here to safety. How are we gonna do that? I'm not sure, but we have to try. Whoa! <gasps> oh no! No way! It's here! We're too late, the black hole is here! We need to get inside the shelter, now! Right behind you! Hurry! <sighs> Now to close the door. We made it! Phew! We're safe! It seems like things worked out. Is that supposed to happen? Our armor! Ah! Fix it! Yeah, I'm on it! Hurry! Come on! There we go. Wow! Phew! Oh. <sighs> you did it! We're saved! Sheesh! Good job! We may be safe, but we just lost so many valuable things. Her armor and treasure, even our furniture. Aw! It's all gone. Why me? Oh, no! It all got sucked up by the black hole. It's all gone forever. But things could definitely be worse. Oh? We still have our food and water. As long as we still have that, we'll be okay. Hmm. I guess you're right, Mikey. Maybe things aren't so bad for us. That's the spirit, JJ. Huh? Ah! Whoa! What happened? Was that the black hole? How is that even possible? Uh, it's so dark, I can't see a thing! Yeah! Hang on, I'll give us some light. Thanks! What happens now? We are officially doomed! Uh, it's all gone! Somehow the black hole sucked up all our food! What are we gonna do, JJ? This is bad! I don't know! Uh, <laughs> even if we stay inside the shelter, everything is within the black hole's reach! Uh, but it actually gets worse than that, Mikey. Black holes keep growing, which means their gravity only gets stronger. So it's only getting bigger? Oh no! Then even if we stay inside the shelter, the black hole will swallow us! What are we gonna do? Ugh, I hate to say it, but we're all out of options. Huh? There's only one thing we can do. What? We have to push the black hole away. What? Push it away? Is that even possible? Maybe. I have an idea. Follow me to the surface. How could we possibly push away a black hole? I'll explain everything once we get to the surface. Let's take it very carefully. Wow. 
There it is. Sheesh! The village is ruined! Uh, be careful, Mikey. You're standing way too close for comfort. Oh, so how do we push it away? Well, Mikey, here's the plan. I think this spot here is still outside its reach. Okay. So I'm gonna place a bunch of TNT here. Huh? Like this. TNT? Yep. What are you gonna do with that? We're gonna detonate all this TNT all at the same time. Whoa! My plan is for the explosion to hit the black hole. If my calculations are correct, the exploding TNT will get sucked in by the black hole's gravitational pull. I see! With enough TNT, the black hole will be sent flying into the distance. Wow! Is that really possible? To be honest, I'm not sure. But we have to try it. Let's do it! All right then, here goes nothing. Yeah! Okay, it's lit. Uh, stand back! Oh! Come on! Can this plan really work? Whoa! Oh! Look! No way! It's working! I can't believe it! We pushed it away! We did! It's moving farther away! We're saved! Wow! What a relief! No kidding! Whoa! Oh, it's, it's gone! gone. Yippee! Woohoo! Oh! Huh? They're calling for the most massive eruption in history tonight. And they expect the volcano to be active for a month? What? A gigantic volcanic eruption? Starting tonight? And it'll last a whole month? Let's go check it out for ourselves. Okay. Whoa, they weren't kidding. It's smoking up here. Oh. This is getting out of hand. We can't stay, Mikey. We have to find cover as quick as possible. But, but there aren't any shelters in our village! Oh. You're right, buddy. So I guess it's up to us. Huh? Since there's no safe place to hide nearby, we'll have to hurry up and build a shelter ourselves. Let's get moving. Yeah! And fast! To the village! Quick! <laughs> Sprint! Come on, we don't have much time. That's right! Ah, uh, we are in for a world of trouble. Okay, now, uh... Let's not dilly-dally! The volcano's gonna explode! Come in here, Mikey. Check it out. Hmm? I need you to put on a helmet and take a pickaxe. Done! And done! Good. Now let's get cracking on a shelter under our house. Got it! We'll start here. All right! Get digging. Oh, I'm on it. Step one. Uh-huh. Keep tunneling down. We have to hurry, though. The eruption could go off at any time. Do you think this is deep enough? Mm -hmm. We'll clear some space in that case and begin working on a room. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Whew. This ought to be big enough for now. Mm-hmm. And... Oh. Finished. Is it really? Check it out. Oh, wait. Not quite, actually. We can't forget the ladder. True that! Whoa! There. I added a hatch. And now it's done. Not bad, huh? It's great! Hmm. Ah, that's right. This stuff up here. What? Let's make this part out of stone, because the lava could burn through the wood. How does that look? Really good! Okay, that should do it. Uh-huh! So, next up, since this eruption is supposed to last for an entire month, we have to be able to spend all that time down here. That's right! Let's set up the space with everything we need to survive for 30 days. Sounds great! I say we start with the bedroom. Sure. We'll definitely want beds. <laughs> I know I will. The villagers will be staying here too, you know. Right, right, right. Let's set up bunk beds. Mm. This is what you have to do to make them. Take these out. There. Stunning. Adding a ladder in the middle. And of course, the bottom bunks. Very nice. <laughs> that about does it. We're done? Well... Let's build another lair. 
There are gonna be a lot of us, after all. True. This might not be enough for everyone. Hmm. How's this? It looks good. Triple decker bunk beds coming right up. Awesome. Put this here. Fix this. Yay! Is this better? Yes! It's great! Now we have room for six people to sleep! Amazing! What we need now is a toilet and a shower. For sure! It would be embarrassing to have them out in the open. True that! So, we'll make a dedicated bathroom for them. Great thinking! Something like this. Hmm. Okay, the toilet can go here. Uh-huh. We'll wash our hands in this corner. Ooh, yeah, great idea. We'll put the bathtub over on this side. <laughs> and the only thing left is the shower. There. <laughs> it's a tight squeeze, but everything we need fits. So it's finished then. Yay! Fantastic! We'll place a door here, and that's the bathroom. The bedroom's done too. Uh-huh. So the next thing on our list is the living room. Oh, what will we need for that? Well, it's also going to serve as a kitchen. So we're going to want to store a month's worth of food, or else we'll starve. Good point. So let's make a kitchen area. Sure. Here we go. <laughs> so for the kitchen corner, let's make something along these lines. OK. How's this? Very nice. It looks great. Then it's done. Hmm. We even have a fridge. So we're going to spend a month in here? Yep. But I almost forgot. We're going to need some food. Right. Let's get some. There should be some in the supply shed. Oh. Let's have a look-see. Wow. There's so much. These are our reserves. Oh. Potatoes, carrots. Some of the meat and potatoes are rotten, unfortunately. But whatever. Let's grab it all. All right. That's a ton of grub. We also have a large wheat supply. Let's take some with us. It keeps well, and we can use it to make bread. Wow! It's just wheat, buddy. And it's all coming with us. Come here. There. All right. Done. Not quite. There's still some growing over on the farm. Let's harvest it. Okay. Grab everything you can. Sure thing. Woo! Well done. Wowzers! We gathered up so much food. Now, huh? let's put it all away before the volcano erupts. Good idea. Huh. Let's put the carrots and the fresh meat in the fridge. Go for it. Pack them in there. The potatoes, too. Why not? There. Now, hmm. Yes? We'll store the rest of the food as well as the wheat in this chest. Excellent idea! That should be enough to get us through the month. <gasps> we forgot something super important! What is it? Hang on a second. What else do we need? Hang on, I'll show you. Plop, plop, plop. Huh? Okay, one of these. Oh, a TV! And of course, we gotta have a couple of these. Now this here, and then... <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, what are those? They're computers for gaming! Oh! Now we can take it easy. I see. If we didn't have our gadgets, we couldn't spend a month down here in this shelter. It would be way too boring. This stuff will definitely help us pass the time. Uh hmm. We're ready! Now we have everything we need! Is the volcano really gonna blow tonight? Aww. Do you want to go above ground and take a peek? Okay! Even if it does, how big of an eruption could it be anyway? Okay... Hmm... Well, how does it look? See anything? Go! No! Ah! no way! It really is a massive eruption! Yeah, uh, the lava's pouring out so quickly. Run, Mikey! Get back into the shelter! I'm going! I'm going! Ah! Whoa! 
Hurry! This is bad. <laughs> okay, we're sealed in. Uh, I'm scared, JJ. Phew. Really scared. Mikey, we'll be safe in here, I think. <sighs> All right. No use panicking. I need to keep myself busy. I know what we should do. Let's stuff our faces and play computer games. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I guess we could. Might as well. This is so much fun. You said it. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Oh. Come on, come on. Almost there. Just a little further. Games rock! And shelter life is the best! Time for another round! Let's go! Mikey! <laughs> you've been playing for a while. You should sleep. Oh. Hmm. I guess you're right. I can pick up where I left off tomorrow. Let's call it a night. Sure. Ah, it's nice and cool. And the villagers are already asleep. Let's join them. Hmm. Sleep, eat, game, repeat. Thanks to our computers, spending a month down here is easy. <laughs> hmm. Huh? Huh? Uh... What was that sound? I think I heard an explosion in the living room. Seriously? Burnt a hole in the ceiling, and now it's seeping through. We have to plug it before it gets any worse. I have some dirt blocks, but will they do the trick? Will they stop the lava flow? Hmm? Oh, Mikey, I think it's working. Uh, Let's see. Will we be okay? We might be able to use dirt to seal the hole. Well... It worked! The leak, it's stopping! Oh. Look, look, look! Wow! Phew! I thought we were done for! <sighs> Is the lava level still coming down? Yes! I think we're safe! Wonderful! We managed to survive! Yippee! Now everything in the shelter is back to normal! I'm just glad we were able to protect the food! Yeah! Fortunately, it's A-OK! -okay. Hmm? Uh, Mikey? Yeah? What's the matter, JJ? Everything's all right, isn't it? No, look. The shelter is back to normal. It isn't. The computers and TV, they melted. Oh, no! Ah! <laughs> They're gone! Take a look at that city, Mikey. It's lovely. Is this where we're spending the day? Yep, I can't wait. Except there's something off about it. Can you tell? Maybe I should take a closer look. Go for it. All I see are these massive, beautiful skyscrapers. Look at this one. Usually I'm the best when it comes to figuring out what's wrong. Any guesses? Hmm. You know how I said I'm the best? I take it back. <laughs> this one's tough. There are no people here. Oh, now that you mention it, I never noticed the city was empty. Why isn't anyone here? They're missing out on all these fancy skyscrapers. Here's the thing. In a couple of hours, a massive tornado is headed to the city. Everyone's either taken shelter underground somewhere or fled town. It smells like rain. Should we run away too? I'm afraid it's too late for that, Mikey. The only way to survive is to build our own shelters and wait out the storm. Are you serious? A shelter building competition? Yep. This may be a Minecraft world, but we still have to prepare as if it were real. In a real situation, we'd probably evacuate. But in Minecraft, we can make the ultimate shelters to protect ourselves. How dangerous are these tornadoes anyway? They're just wind, right? Don't underestimate tornadoes, Mikey. They can lift cars and buildings like they're nothing. It doesn't even matter how heavy they are. Ooh! 
If you ever encounter a real tornado, you need to get everyone in the house to hide in the basement. Really? Yeah. Then I guess I should make my shelter a bit stronger than this. I have to build it the right way! That means no dirt walls! You seem super motivated today. Let's get to work. I'm finished. How about you, Mikey? Huh? Maybe he's inside. Let's go see. I guess Mikey's done building his shelter already. That was fast. Where could he be? I wonder if he finished early then went to hang out in the city. In that case, I better go find him before the tornado does. Mikey! Oh! Oh, what are you doing out here, Mikey? Are you done with your shelter? Yep, it's all finished. It's been done for a while. Since there's no one around, I figured we can get into this amusement park for free! We don't have to wait in any lines! Plus they have all kinds of rides and yummy snacks! See? You can't just eat everything because no one's around. It still belongs to someone. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's head back. Okay! Okay, we made it back! Welcome home! Did you see how strong I made my shelter? Guess how long it took me to build! Believe it or not, it was ten whole minutes! I think that might be a new record for me. Usually it's only three minutes, five minutes tops. That's like twice as long as usual! I put a lot of effort into it. You probably took ten times as long as I did to build yours. Your house isn't made of dirt anymore. I'm glad you noticed. Since I'm a turtle, I try to be eco-friendly and build with dirt. But this time, I decided to use wood! How come, Mikey? I didn't think dirt would hold up against a tornado. You said they were super dangerous. That's right. Well, come on, Mikey. Hurry up and show me the inside. Look at this! What? Do you see the window? It's two layers thick! Oh wow, that's thick! This one's thick too! Whoa! I'm showing you why it's the perfect defense! The only downside is how small it is on the inside. Oh, you're right. But I've got a farm and a bed. This place is so self-sufficient, I could live in here forever. Or at least a super long time. I bet this is the strongest shelter you've ever seen, huh? It's a nice little house, Mikey. But you're missing something. You need three wheat to make bread. It looks like you only have two. Huh? You need three? Yep, three wheat. Well, this is awkward. Ignore that! This is still one of the best emergency shelters ever made! And there's no way you can change my mind! The only thing I would do differently is make it a little more comfortable. But that's just a dream of mine. And at some point, you have to stop dreaming and face reality. Oh well. Alright, my turn. This is it! These iron blocks are really something! Don't you think it's a bit much? Why put in effort when you can do things super speedy like me? When it comes to safety, it's always necessary to put the effort in. It took me a while to finish. Sorry to keep you waiting for so long. No need to apologize! Even your door looks sturdy! How'd you do that? You really pulled out all the stops, JJ! Thanks! Why don't you come in? Don't mind if I do! Wow, even the lighting is nice! <gasps> you have a computer?! That's my PC! Huh? What's this? A weather vane? Awesome! It'll tell me which direction the wind is blowing, which might come in handy for the tornado. Some people use them as good luck charms, too. Wow, it's fancy! Thanks! I want one! Let's set it up! Seriously? Okay! Let's go! Whoa, it's so cool! Thanks a bunch, JJ! I can't believe my shelter got even stronger than it was before! Let's put one on top, too. Awesome! Thank you! So far, so good! JJ, wait! What? I don't want to sound rude, especially after you hooked me up with those weather vanes. Mm-hmm. But your house needs a farm! Seriously! You can't be self-sufficient without one! What if you're stuck in there? Then what, JJ? You gotta think about these things, JJ! I do have a farm, Mikey. Where? I don't see one. <laughs> There's no need to lie. I get it. You're mad that my shelter is better. I'm not lying. Follow me. Come on. Huh? Here. <laughs> Hurry. Huh? Look. Wow! Mm-hmm. Amazing! A farm! You weren't lying! That's right. It's a potato farm. Potatoes are one of the best foods in case of an emergency. That's why I grew them. 
Not only that, but you have great air circulation down here! Check out the ceiling fan! That's incredible! It's important to have good air circulation underground! Is this your living room? Wow! I understand why it took you so long to finish! I'm glad you like it. I gave special attention to the kitchen, though. Is this it? Yep. Oh! A microwave! An oven? A blender? You even have a toaster?! That's unbelievable! The only thing you're missing is a proper bathroom. You probably didn't have enough time to build one. As a turtle, I need to have a bathtub. But as a human, you don't need one. Your house is great and all, JJ. You just forgot one thing. I had a feeling you'd say something. So I prepared this. What? Take a look. No way! I didn't think you'd have one. Pretty cool, huh? A toilet? A sink? Yep. <laughs> I can't compete with this. My house doesn't have a bathroom, a kitchen, or even a living room. All it has is one tiny bedroom. The bedroom's the whole thing. Wait, we haven't tested it yet. My house didn't take long to make, so the cost-performance ratio is more balanced. Yeah, I guess you're right. You can have that one. It's up to the tornado to decide which of our shelters is better. That's right, let's get into position. I can see Mikey through the window. Is it here yet? I feel safe and sound inside my shelter. I used wood instead of regular old dirt. It took me ten whole minutes! Bring it on, tornado! I'm ready! Woohoo! You sound super confident today, Mikey. I know you've got a lot of faith in your shelter, but don't underestimate the power of the tornado. Looks like it's starting to rain. I wonder if the weather reports were accurate. I can't wait to test out my shelter! Seriously? Okay, Mikey. I'm so excited, JJ! Whoa! Wow, lightning! The rain's picking up! It's getting super windy. Wait a second, it's starting to hail! I can't believe it. It's way too dangerous to leave home now. My house is insanely tough. I'll be okay. Do you see my roof? Yeah, what about it? The entire roof is two layers thick! Oh yeah, I guess you're right. There are two layers of wooden blocks. Good thinking, Mikey. Even though it's hailing, I'm 100% safe. Nothing will hurt me in here. Mm-hmm. Not even the tornado will be able to hurt me. I'm so calm, my body's dancing all on its own. Nice moves. Thanks, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm still scared about the tornado, Mikey. I was extra careful and built my shelter out of iron blocks. Plus, I added an underground bunker. Even still, who knows what this tornado is capable of? You're always worrying, JJ. If you're so scared, why don't you come over to my place? We can wait out the storm together. Just you and me. What do you say? Thanks for the offer, but I want to stick around and see if my shelter has what it takes to survive. Well, you're always welcome here whenever you want. My door is always open, JJ. <laughs> The tornado's almost here, Mikey. Brace yourself. Hmm? What's taking the tornado so long? I can't wait any longer! Whoa, the wind's getting stronger. Mikey, look out, it's here! Huh? For real? Huh? Oh no, Mikey! How is this possible? It took me ten whole minutes to build my shelter! I'm flying away! What's going on? Where am it's I? It's pulled you into the sky! Hey! <laughs> oh no! This is bad! Whoa! Mikey's flying around! Mikey! Thanks for letting me in! There's not even a trace of your house left! I don't get it! I spent so much time on it, JJ! This isn't fair! <laughs> Seriously, ten minutes isn't that much time, dude! We better stick around here till the tornado passes. Although it's probably safer in the basement. I'm coming! Safe and sound. Can I take a bath? <laughs> wow, I'm so exhausted after being sucked up by the tornado. All I want to do is lie down, eat a potato, and watch TV. Good idea. But remember, tornadoes are no joke. Bye bye Huh? Huh? Did he say the world is going to be covered in toxic sludge? 
In a few hours? What? Mikey! Huh? This is bad! What is it? Listen, in a few hours, the world is going to be covered in toxic sludge! We gotta go! Come on! What? No! I'm not ready yet! I don't wanna go! JJ, I'm scared! Hey! Yeah? Don't give up hope just yet! We can still find a way to survive! What can we do? Let's figure this out together! Take a look! See the overworld? Yeah? Everything up here will be covered in toxic sludge! Okay! So, the plan is, we will build a safety shelter underground! Oh! That makes sense! We have to get started on our shelter right away! We only have a few hours! Alright! Our house already has a basement, so... Wait a sec! Huh? I almost forgot! What is it? See this house? We should warn our neighbor that lives here! Right! He may not have heard the news, so let's tell him! Hello! Oh! Hey! Hello! Just so you know, the world is going to be ending soon. You might want to build a shelter soon and hide in there. Huh? Uh... What? He doesn't believe what we're saying! Oh! But it's true! You can come stay in our shelter with us, okay? Whoa! Ouch! Hey! We were just trying to be nice, so don't hurt us! Oh. Oh. Well, we can't do anything about that. He's free to make his choice. Let's just focus on our shelter, okay? Yeah, okay. Maybe the neighbor thinks we're pulling a mean prank on him. Anyway, let's start building. So, our basement is right here. You just pull on this lever to open the bookshelf. Like this! See? Whoa! There's a hidden passage, and then... Here it is! This leads into the basement. Now, before we check it out, you should know, we haven't been down here for a long time. It might be messy. If you're ready, let's go! Here we go! Ooh! All right! Wow! Well, here it is. It's gotten pretty bad down here, huh, Mikey? We'll clean it up before we make our shelter. Okay. I really hope this shelter protects us. It's our best bet. We only have a few hours, so let's get started. Let's get to work! Let's see what we have in storage. Oh, okay. Hmm? Everything we need to start working is in this chest. Let's take it. Definitely. Okay, so our first task... Oh? Let's clean up this mess. There are spider webs everywhere. Good idea. Almost done. There. Nice! If the surface is covered in toxic sludge, we might have to spend a long, long time down here. Let's give ourselves more space. Right! We'd go crazy after the first week in a small space. Yeah! Hmm... This digging... It's taking a while. Now we have all our necessities covered. For forever? Yeah! <gasps> so we did it! It's perfect! We can survive! It's all done! Now all that's left is to grab the furniture in the house and bring it to the bunker. It's a little dreary down here. Seriously? We only have about an hour left. There's no time to waste! Just grab everything you can carry. I got the beds. Okay. Got those. Wood. The chairs and stuff. The table? Definitely. I'll get the TV. And the kitchen. Grab it all. All right. Let's take the fridge with us. And we can't forget this. What is it? The bathroom, of course. <laughs> Good idea. Definitely. Is that all? Yep. Back to the basement. Let's set up the kitchen first. Yeah. The fridge can go here. What else is there? The TV? 
Maybe over there? Yeah, over here looks great. This feels better already. Nice. Next, let's find a place for the bathroom. That's very important. Let's build it! How about over here? Okay. Is that enough? Hmm. Yep. There. Not too shabby. So, Mikey, I think we're all done. Now, even if the surface is covered in toxic sludge, we'll survive. But, Mikey, hmm? it's just... Yeah? I'm worried about our neighbor. Hmm. We tried to warn him, but he wouldn't believe us. Let's try inviting him to stay in our shelter again. You're right, JJ. We should go talk to him. Okay. Hello? Oh. Whoa. Here he comes. Hello. We finished building our bunker, and we were wondering if you'd like to stay with us. Huh? Huh? Are you sure? We don't have much time. The world will be covered in toxic sludge. You really won't come? Oh. He turned us down again. Ah, oh, I guess he doesn't believe us. He can be so stubborn. Yeah. Hmm. I can't let this go, Mikey. What's he doing in there? Huh? Why is he eating so many apples? What? He's sitting down and playing games? What? At a time like this? He really doesn't believe that the world is about to end. Aww. We have 30 minutes before the toxic sludge. We can't force him to believe us. Let's hurry and save ourselves. He made his choice. It's too bad. Well, Mikey, get used to this. It may be the rest of our lives. Huh? Oh. Huh? Hmm? That sound. Uh, what is that? I'm scared, JJ. Uh. Ah! It's happening. The surface is being covered by toxic sludge. Will our shelter keep us safe? Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Huh? Oh! It sounds like it's letting up. It's all over! Sheesh! But it looks like our shelter... Yeah? ...is holding up. There's no sludge leaking in. Looks like we're in the clear. Thank goodness! But I'm still worried about our neighbor. Same! Should we go out there and check up on him? That doesn't sound safe, JJ. Won't the toxic sludge infect us? It will be safe if we wear hazmat suits. Oh. Here they are. If we put these suits on, then we should be able to go outside. Okay. Ready, Mikey? Yep. They should protect us, but we can't stay out there for too long. Let's go save our neighbor. Let's go! Okay, I'm climbing up. Me too! We're going outside. I'm scared. I'm terrified. I mean, is it even safe? I don't know. Let's find out. Whoa. <gasps> it's... very, very purple. Is it okay? I'm just glad we have these hazmat suits. Ready? Ow! Whoa! It's really covered! Ah! Don't worry, we should be okay for now. But I'm not sure how long these suits will last. It's everywhere! Aw, oh, look at our house! Aww! It's awful. Oh, right! 
Do you see our neighbor anywhere? I don't think so. Huh? Hang on. What? <gasps> it looks like he's being attacked by some weird creatures. What are they? Are you okay? Hello? Run away! Try to follow my voice! Hurry! Ugh. Hello? Come over here! Is he okay? Huh? Oh? No! Oh. Hey. He, he's down! What? No! He's gone! Wait, they're coming for us now! Hurry! Huh? Get in the shelter! Now! Run away! Go! Hurry, Mikey! Ah! Shut the hatch! Phew! Oh. 